Surovikin released from custody after Prigozhin's death. Detained Russian general Sergei Surovikin had been released several days after the death of Yevgeny Prigozhin, the Wagner Group leader, in a plane crash. The New York Times announced this, referring to American officials and a source close to the Russian Defense Ministry. As two U.S. officials and a person close to the Russian Defense Ministry reported, Surovikin was released. This happened a few days after the death of Prigozhin in a plane crash. At the same time, it is unclear whether there are any restrictions on his movements. One source of the media reports that the general has retained his rank and is technically still an officer, but he has no career prospects. Sources of the publication believe that he was informed in advance about Wagner's mutiny. The New York Times also mentioned a photo with Surovikin, which was made public by Russian journalists. It shows the general wearing sunglasses, a hat and a buttoned-up shirt, walking outside next to his wife against the backdrop of an ivy-covered wall. It should be noted that on the 12th of July, Russian mass media reported that Surovikin was detained by counterintelligence in connection with Yevgeny Prigozhin's mutiny. Earlier, the Russian FSB announced the closure of the case regarding Prigozhin's mutiny in Russia. However, Surovikin, who was repeatedly linked to Prigozhin by the Western media, has not appeared in public since addressing the Wagnerites on the night of the 23rd to the 24th of June, in which he called on them to lay down their arms. Bloomberg also wrote that the general was interrogated for several days by military prosecutors about his connections with Prigozhin. The source of the agency claimed that Surovikin is being held in one place, but he is not in prison.